Kim Brandy, and I am the um, founder and CEO for Deadhead Rum. Our rum is made in uh, Tapachula, and that is at the very southernmost tip of Mexico, right on the border of Guatemala. It's in a very unique region. 20 minutes in the mountains, we're in the rainforest, and um, we're by um, an area where there's cacao farms, surrounded um, by all kinds of tropical um, farms like chiquita bananas, mangoes, all, all kinds of tropical fruits are grown there because of the, the climate, you know, and it's moist and everything. So our sugar cane is grown there too, and we call our rum a single um, blended rum because it's, it's um, from one distillery, it's from our distillery. We actually harvest our own sugar cane, we make our own molasses, um, and then blended because we use different rums and we blend them together to get our final profile. So, you know, when it comes to a recipe, um, it could be that we're using rum that has more aguarente, which um, a lot of people know as uh, rum agricole, but in Spanish it's aguarente, so we use a lot of that. Um, you know, we do cane, distill, distill it. We do molasses, distill it. We use um, barrels, American oak barrels that have previously been used for bourbon, but we also use local woods. When we first came out with Deadhead Rum, um, my son, my oldest son, Devin, helped to sculpt the bottle, the original bottle, and our concept was to have the eyes um, and mouth sewn shut. Uh, there wasn't any way to make that type of bottle, and it would be like $30 a bottle. It's something super, you know, it wasn't scalable or anything like that. So we did find a company that was, um, had suggested that we do like a clamshell casing on it. And so uh, we came out with this, the first time ever, like a, you know, a replica little shrunken head with the eyes sewn shut. Um, and, you know, we, we really feel like that bottle speaks for itself. It tells its own story. Um, it's, you know, especially the story of Mayas, the, the area in Chiapas. You know, I, I, I'm i just always amazed and so honored and humbled. Um, every time I walk through like a tiki marketplace or on, you know, on Instagram or something and I see somebody's made a lamp or... Yeah, people get creative with them. Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing a uh, jewelry Oh, I love it. Little um, monkey earrings made by Tiki Cogs. I mean, you know, you see so many girls wearing the hair yeah, flowers yeah, with yeah. the bottles. And I, I love how creative this community is where they repurpose our products and just make them into like amazing pieces of art and jewelry. Yeah. 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 And I love it. So I want to thank everybody so much for us being here 10 years. And we're so excited. And we hope it's another 10 years of making awesome rum. Deadhead for probably almost 10 years. My job is painting sets for television and I had an opportunity to get some bottles on sets. So I figured, well, if they do well and people find out what they are and they buy it because I've seen it on TV, then it will keep going and I will get to keep having Deadhead rum because it's so tasty. I enjoy my Deadhead as a dark and stormy. I also do enjoy it neat because it is actually a very smooth rum and it is quite tasty. I started the uh, working with Deadhead Rum. They had an artist showcase where they had an existing bottle that they wanted. They had an invitational for other artists to join in and kind of do a, a revamp of the existing bottle. And um, so my, mine was one of 10 submissions that went into that. And um, at, in the very end, Kim and the other Deadhead you know, crew, they chose me to actually do the sculpt for the, the new bottle design. We, we referred to it as the 2.0 version. The monkey head, Kim had had the idea, of, she wanted to do this dark chocolate rum. She'd been talking about it for a long time. So when, when that came into town and through 
multiple conversations. She knows that I, I have a soft spot in my heart for primates, so when that came about, she kind of gave me full reign on doing the dark chocolate monkey bottle. So I tried to put my little spin on it with, you know, trying to make it a little creepy, but not too creepy. And then that went into production. So that was, that was a really fun project because there weren't any existing constraints on it. It was part of the brand, so it had to tie in with what they were already doing, but she kind of gave me free reign to just kind of express myself with that, you know, shrunken monkey head bottle and thoroughly enjoy the way it turned out and absolutely love, you know, seeing it in people's collections and stuff like that. I love the, the chocolate rum as a sipper. I, I know they have recipes out there, but I actually prefer the chocolate rum as a sipper. And the Deadhead, probably the same thing. I just sip it or, you know, ice on the rocks or something. It makes me happy. Alrighty, party people. Guess who we're with at now? We got Jimmy Psycho and Chris, the Jimmy Psycho Experiment. What's up? What up, party people? <laughs> We've been working with the with Tiki, or with, with Deadhead Rum for right. eight years now. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now that this year has been like the biggest, baddest, you know, it's the 10 year anniversary of Deadhead, so they're, they're, they're pulling all the stops out and it's just been a lot of fun. We played, we're playing here three nights for their parties, you know? Yeah, yeah. So we go on at 10, doesn't stop till like 2 a.m. So it's definitely a good, it's good time. A good time. Yeah. A really good Man, time. I tell you, you gotta eat your Wheaties when you come to Tiki Oasis, especially <laughs> if you're coming to this party right here because these guys bring on the show. So tell me, Deadhead Rum, there's a couple of different expressions. Mm -hmm. Which one do you guys like the best? Ooh. I know which one I like the best. Which one do you like? I like the chocolate. Okay, the chocolate, we were just talking we about chocolate over about ice. That. I was saying like, Take that chocolate and pour it over ice cream. I yes. think that would be awesome. I, I, I say I, I am a huge fan of the chocolate. Also, it's, it's like my end of the day yeah. kind of thing. Like I said, just a couple cubes of ice, some of the chocolate. It, it's a great way to finish the night. But we just sampled the, the ten year. Oh and, damn! How do I get some of that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna know people. You know, it wasn't a joke. It wasn't a joke. I'm serious. I'm serious. I want some ten year. <laughs> the ten year is, is off the hook. I'm telling you, it's it's the smoothest, most baseball. Yeah, well, it's really we'll good. get you some. Yeah. All right. Sure. All right. It's all right. The best. Cool, cool. So, you know what? It, one of the things that's really unique about Deadhead are these bottles, right? Yeah, yeah. The, what do we call those? Shrunken head. The shrunken right, head. yes. The shrunken the, the head. Shrunken the, the zombie monkey. Yes. Yeah. Right, right. When are we going to get a Jimmy Cycle experiment? Oh, special, like, limited yeah, right. edition. Oh, my gosh. How cool would that right. be? I, I would be incredibly okay, honored. Okay, so let, we're going to try to make that happen. Let's start a petition. And we're going to see, like, what what, what kind of uh, expression would you want in that? I, I'm thinking we would need, like, some kind of hot pepper infusion with it. Oh, yeah. you know, pepper infused. Little spicy. Like, like, like that, that sweet rum with a little... Kick, with a little kick, a little kick, kick yeah, a little yeah. Kick. With yeah. A, with a with a uh, what do they call that with with, with the uh, Scoville scale with the Scoville, oh, yeah, Scoville, Scoville yes, units yeah. on the yeah. side of the bottle, <laughs> right? Yes. It would probably be the first run with a Scoville scale on it. How cool would that be? That would be yeah, super that's, cool. That'd be right? great. Yeah. Jimmy Cycle. Yeah. I'm down. Let's yeah. go start that petition out We're there. We're gonna start that. <laughs> We're gonna start that. And I want I want a bottle. That you guys yeah. have to sign, so put on the shell. You get the first one. Oh, is that, <laughs> you heard it first. You heard it here. You heard it first. You heard it first. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate you uh, talking with us today. No, thanks for having me. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah thanks for being on the podcast. Cheers, man. See you. All right, let's go get that ten year. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> it, it brings out the color in your eyes. I know. Well, that's okay. what they tell you, right? Right, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. My sidekick. Man, you've been with Deadhead ah! since the beginning. Fans. <laughs> <laughs> Fans. You've been with Deadhead since the beginning. I remember way back in the day, like Tiki Caliente and the Oasis and all that kind of stuff, all the way back to the beginning. How does it feel? You got 10 years under your belt now. It's weird. It's like there's been so many times that we're just like, are we going to keep doing this? Are we going to be able to? And like, it's like, before we know, here we are 10 years and all over the world. And I, you know, it was crazy the way it happened because it like didn't really exist. And I had seen a picture of the bottle that Kim had posted. Right. And I, I, after I go, wow, what is this? Yeah. And then uh, she told me it's a rum that we're, you know, going to be you know, producing and stuff, but we can't bottle it yet because it's still being distilled and all the other stuff that is. I didn't, I knew this much about the liquor industry. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know. yeah. So the, you weren't working in spirits or anything then before this? Not at all. I, I had nothing to do with it, but I was so amazed by this bottle, I contacted Kim. And then when I said, Kim, what is it? She explained to me what she was gonna do and stuff, and then actually it kind of like stuck in my head. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. She said it'd be like a year yeah. before they did it. And then um, I called her and I was like, Kim, where are you gonna, like, who's your market? I mean, who's this for? And she was telling me, well, I've been in the tequila industry all these years, so we're gonna go through the whole circuit yeah, that we yeah. do and stuff. And I was like, I don't think so. And she's <laughs> like, what? I'm like, this, belongs to the tiki world and yeah, she's like yeah. what yeah i said the tiki world she's like what the is tiki i said oh my we need to have a conversation we're gonna meet i'm gonna show you pictures i'm gonna show i go people don't i go tiki's weird people live tiki they live for tiki and she's like well, what i've never heard of this tiki yeah, thing yeah so we sat down, I explained it to her, and I told her, him, this belongs to the tiki world. I go, they love things like this. It's so crazy that you say that, because you guys are such a fixture at all these events. Amazing, isn't right? it? Right, right. my little pea brain works. Right, so, yeah, yeah. So when I talked to Kim, and I told Kim was like, well, I don't know anything about this thing, so how do we like get into this tiki world? And yeah, I just, yeah. I said, I got this. Yeah, like, follow me. Yeah, Follow me. and that was years ago, and now we've been, I'm basically the brand ambassador, so when they say, like, dead it, everybody's like, oh, Sammy, oh, Sammy, oh, right, Sammy, right, and then, right. of course, they always say, oh, it's Sammy's fault, and I don't make them drink it. Well, <laughs> it's my job to make them drink it, but I don't make them drink it, but they drink they it. They want to drink it. And then yeah. the next day, they're all like, it was Sammy's fault, which it is, because that's my job. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway. I mean, I'm just the one that brings it to him. My whole thing is to make the whole thing happen and everybody to be happy and have a great time yeah, and enjoy yeah, the rum. Yeah. But they always come back to like, I really love this product. I love the rum, I love the packaging. I love the whole concept of what we do. And I think one of the things that the reason they really like it is because when we go to a location, you are seeing Deadhead. You are seeing me, you are seeing Kim. Right, you are seeing right, Adam, the whole team. You are seeing the team. This is it. There is no buck stops. It's us. When yeah. you were drinking with Deadhead, you were drinking with us. Is there anything that you can share with us about the future of Deadhead? Well, all I know is that it's just amazing the way things have changed for us. And, you know, when we started, we were just happy to get in other cities and then other states. And now we're in other countries. And it's just like it keeps growing and people yeah. just keep yeah. wanting more and more. And it's just, it's pretty amazing, you know? It's just. I'm like amazed by it, and I, anywhere I go now in the world, it's like, hey, Sammy, oh, you got I love some that. deadhead? I love that. You're a rock star, Sammy. <laughs> yeah, I know, rock star by default, but it's all because of deadhead. It brought Kim and me together, and all the people in the cheeky world, and now it's really interesting because him not knowing anything about the tiki world, now she's known throughout the tiki right, world. Right, right, right. That was my whole concept is to bring it to the tiki world, and, and we did it. And yeah, it's just here cool. we are. And, and the, this is what I do. I'm like the guy that if there's <laughs> something like we get a stupid idea, it's probably coming from me, and it's probably the one that's going to be doing it is me. Sammy, Sammy is the fun, the fun face here at Deadhead Rum, and he'll do like look what, look at this, look at this. Uh, 
King Sammy right there, bro. I was supposed to be able to change, but I figured, ah, this is the way I do things, so just interview me. There like, we go, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's what you get. That's right, that's right. Yeah. All right, party people. Love yeah. you guys. And then.